Hello everybody! Are you ready for a new English lesson? Sunteți pregătiți pentru o nouă lecție de limba engleză? Astăzi vom învăța, printre altele, cum spunem cât e ceasul. Apropo de ceas, cu siguranță știți celebrul turn cu ceas din Londra, dar știați că denumirea inițială nu era Big Ben, ci The Clock Tower? Adică turnul cu ceas. Iar Big Ben este denumirea clopotului din interiorul turnului. Vă mai spun și că este cel mai mare ceas cu patru fețe și clopot din lume. Interesant, nu-i așa? Sper că la fel de interesant va fi și cursul de engleză care începe chiar acum. Good luck! See you soon! Hello everyone and welcome to Learning English Lesson 2. My name is Juana and I am delighted to invite you to participate in this lesson. Today we are talking about telling the time, parts of the day, prepositions of time, daily routines and present simple, affirmative forms. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe your daily routines. Ready, steady, go! Here are some phrases you can use when you want to know the time. What's the time? Or um, what time is it? To tell someone what the time is, we say it's... What's the time, please? It's six o'clock. It's four o'clock. Or it's four. It's four oh six. It's four fifteen. It's four twenty four. It's four thirty. It's four forty five. It's four forty nine. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. What's the time? Este ora 10. Este 8:40. Este 6:28. Este 9:08. Este 4:14. Este 1:16. And here is the key. What's the time? It's 10. Or um, it's 10 o'clock. It's 8.40. It's 6.28. It's 9.08. It's 4.14. It's 1.16. We use a.m. from midnight until noon. It's 12 a.m. It's 10 a.m. And we use p.m. from noon until midnight. It's 1 p.m. It's 11.59 p.m. We use at with the hours of the day. I go to school at 8 a.m. Here are the most important parts of the day. Night, noon, night, noon. We use at with these parts of the day. I go to bed at night, I wake up at noon. Morning, afternoon, evening. Morning, afternoon, evening. We use in with these parts of the day. We watch TV in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. 
fill in at or in. One o'clock. Noon. Nine eighteen p.m. The evening. The morning. Night. Six eleven a.m. The afternoon. And here is the key. At one o'clock. At noon. At nine eighteen p.m. In the evening. In the morning. At night. At six eleven a.m. In the afternoon. Daily routines. Here are some expressions that make reference to one's daily routine. I get up. I have a shower. I brush my hair. I brush my teeth. I get dressed. I have breakfast. I go to work. I start work. Once again, I get up. I have a shower. I brush my hair. I brush my teeth. I get dressed. I have breakfast. I go to work. I start work. I have lunch. I finish work. I arrive home. I have dinner. I have a snack. I watch TV. I listen to music. I read a magazine. I read a book. I go to bed. And once again, I have lunch. I finish work. I arrive home. I have dinner. I have a snack. I watch TV. I listen to music. I read a magazine. I read a book. I go to bed. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Choose the correct expression. In the morning, I get up, I go to bed, or I brush my teeth, or I have lunch. I have a shower, I brush my hair, I get dressed, I have lunch, or I finish work, or I have breakfast, I go to work, I start work. In the afternoon, I have lunch, I get up, or I finish work, or I get dressed, I arrive home. In the evening, I have dinner, or I have lunch, or I have breakfast, or sometimes I just have a snack. I watch TV, I have a shower, I listen to music, or I have a snack. Sometimes I just read a magazine or a book. Then I go to bed. And here are the answers. In the morning, I get up, I brush my teeth, I have a shower, I brush my hair, I get dressed, I have breakfast, I go to work, I start work. In the afternoon, I have lunch, I finish work, I arrive home. In the evening, I have dinner, or sometimes I just have a snack. I watch TV, I listen to music, sometimes I read a magazine or a book, then I go to bed. 
present simple. We need to know the present simple in order to be able to talk about repeated actions and daily routines, I watch TV every day, general truths or laws of nature. The sun sets in the west. Here's the affirmative form. Subject plus verb. And for the third person singular, subject plus verb plus s. This is the affirmative form for the verb to read. I read, you read, he reads, she reads, it reads, we read, you read, they read. So, S for the third person singular. Deci, S pentru persoana a treia, singular. And here is another verb in the affirmative. To listen. I listen, you listen, he listens, she listens, it listens. We listen, you listen, they listen. Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the sentences into the third person singular. In the morning, I get up. In the morning, he gets up. In the morning, I start work. In the afternoon, I arrive home. In the evening, I read a magazine. And here is the key. In the morning, he starts work. In the afternoon, he arrives home. In the evening, he reads a magazine. As we have previously seen, most verbs take S in the third person singular. I read, he reads. I listen, he listens. But the verbs ending in SS, SH, CH, X and O take ES. I dress. He dresses, E-S. I brush, he brushes. I watch, he watches. I fix, he fixes. I go, he goes. Now let's practice using this rule. Put the sentences into the third person singular. I brush my hair at 6.45. She brushes her hair at 6.45. I go to bed at 11 p.m. I finish work at 4 p.m. I watch TV in the evening. And here is the key. She goes to bed at 11 p.m. She finishes work at 4 p.m. She watches TV in the evening. Verbs ending in a consonant plus Y, drop the Y, and take I, E, S. I study, he studies. Consonant plus Y, I, E, S. I study, he studies. I try, he tries. But the verbs ending in a vowel plus Y take 
s. I play, he plays. Vowel plus y. S. Play, plays. I say, he says. I buy, he buys. Now let's practice using this rule. Put the sentences into the third person singular. I buy Egyptian cotton sheets. She buys Egyptian cotton sheets. I play computer games in Spanish. I study German. I try to learn Chinese. And here is the key. She plays computer games in Spanish. She studies German. She tries to learn Chinese. The verbs to be and have got are irregular in the present simple. We know the verb to be from lesson one. This is the affirmative form for the verb have got. I have got, you have got, he has got, she has got, it has got, we have got, you have got, they have got. So, S has got. And here are the negative and the interrogative forms for have got. I have not got or I haven't got, you have not got or you haven't got, he has not got or he hasn't got, she has not got or she hasn't got, it has not got or it hasn't got, we have not got or we haven't got, you have not got or you haven't got, they have not got or they haven't got. Have I got? Have you got? Has he got? Has she got? Has it got? Have we got? Have you got? Have they got? Now let's practice what we've learned so far. Put the sentences in the third person singular. In the morning, I have a shower. In the morning, he has a shower. At noon, I have lunch. In the afternoon, I have a snack. In the evening, I have dinner. And here is the key. At noon, he has lunch. In the afternoon, he has a snack. In the evening, he has dinner. Now it's your turn to give information about your daily routine. But before you do so, let's practice using some of the information we've talked about until now. Read the information about Roberta and put the words in the correct order. My name is Roberta. I am 28 years old. I am a shop assistant. I'm Italian. This is my daily routine. 1. Get up. AM. 7. I. At. 2. Teeth. I. At. AM brush my 7.15 9 start at I in work the morning number 4 lunch I noon have at 5 Work, p.m., I, at, finish, 3.30.
6 him I the afternoon in arrive for at 7 at I the evening dinner have in 7 8 go bed I 2 p.m. 11 at and here is the key I get up at 7 a.m. I brush my teeth at 7 15 a.m. I start work at 9 in the morning I have lunch at noon I finish work at 3.30 p.m. I arrive home at 4 in the afternoon. I have dinner at 7 in the evening. I go to bed at 11 p.m. Now it's your turn to talk about your daily routine. Try to keep in mind the following questions when you formulate your sentences. What do you do in the morning? What do you do at noon? What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening? What do you do at night? I'd like to thank you for participating in the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye. Tot am învățat despre rutina zilnică. Știați că englezii includ în programul lor și savuratul unei cești de ceai? De altfel, în Anglia a apărut celebrul obicei de a bea ceai la ora 5 sau 5 o'clock tea. Ritualul a fost inventat la curtea regală în jurul anului 1840 de către ducesa Ana de Bedford. Acest obicei a devenit un bun prilej pentru ducesa să-și invite prietenii la un ceai în jurul orei 5 după amiaza. Ritualul se păstrează și astăzi în familiile britanice, astfel că în fiecare zi, în regatul unit, se consumă 165 de milioane de cești cu ceai. Atât pentru astăzi. Știți deja că puteți găsi suportul de curs pe pagina de Facebook a emisiunii, iar dacă vreți să revedeți cursurile, intrați pe canalul de YouTube al TVR. See you next time! Bye bye!